Hey guys, today I wanted to showcase some books that I think pairs well with the Halloween season. Five books in all, I wrote and illustrated each one, and we'll quickly go over what each story is about. The reason I started writing these books is because at the time, I couldn't find the type of books that I wanted to read. Adventure type, cozy stories that friends could experience together on a journey. I wanted some thrills, scares, whimsy, and camaraderie, and nature, and I think I accomplished that with these books. This one is my most recent one. It's called Samuel Orzabal and the Buried House, and involves Sam and his two best friends and his cousin going on an adventure to find this old long rumored house buried in the woods somewhere that's supposed to contain a treasure. Um, here are some of the chapter art pieces. And um, once they do find the house, they unlock mysteries that take them way in over their heads. So that's that. And the next one is called Samuel Orzabal and the Keys of the Past, and this one, Sam is celebrating his 15th birthday, and he's given an old envelope with uh, from his long-deceased Uncle Rufus, who requested that it be given to Sam on his 15th birthday, and the envelope says, open in private, and it contains a map and two keys and a letter, and he discovers his uh, uncle was working on a mysterious project before he died, and a it's a project he wants Sam to complete. So Sam learns that his Uncle Rufus was a genius inventor and created some crazy machines. Some that'll turn rocks into gold and can transport them into an alternate dimension. This one is Samuel Orzabal and the Strange Discovery. My description is... Sam Orzabal and his cousin Jamie had heard the stories of a meteor crash that happened long ago near the backwoods of Sam's home. When Sam's grandfather tells him he witnessed the event and says it wasn't a meteor crash but an alien ship, well that's enough for Sam and Jamie to go hunting for it. Here's some of the chapter art in the back. The next book is called Samuel Orzabal and the Shack of Consequences. This was the second book that I've written, and it involves Sam and his two best friends out playing, and they stumble across this old rickety rundown shack, and so they decide to go inside to check things out. And uh, nothing is too unusual at first until they leave the shack and discover that nothing is as it was. So now they have to go on this adventure to try to find their way back to their home. And they encounter lots of different uh, beings, good and bad. Samuel Orzabal and the Weathervane Fables. This was my very first book. It's the shortest book and it's, uh, it's a little bit more whimsical, kind of like Alice in Wonderland. Has more humor in it and has a lot of uh, references to different musical artists, mostly from the 80s. Um, bands like Tears for Fears. Uh, there's a group in there called The Smarters, kind of a reference to Oingo Boingo. And it was, it was a fun story to start it off with. And there's the back. And those are the books. Please check them out. They're available on Amazon, and I hope you like them. Here's the real-life Peaches that's featured in a few of the stories. Um, she's happy that she's immortalized in the books, and uh, I think I'll leave you with uh, some of her dancing moves. <laughs> 